Hi, I'm Alexandria Dawley, interior designer at Dawley Design and co-founder of United in Design. Come and have a look around my house, let's go and have a chat. So today I thought I would give you a little house tour, walk you around my house, kind of tell you how I've designed it, give you some top tips about how to design a family house, which this is, and also talk you through the renovation process. I got the worst house on the best street, which is always my mantra, and I think if you can do that, then you should, because the potential is huge. So yes, it was a very big renovation project. It was super stressful. It was loads of hard work, but I'm really happy with the end result. So let's go. So the house hadn't been touched for about 40 or 50 years. So it was in a state of needing everything done to it. So we had to take it back to brick and start again. But that meant I could put my own stamp on it. So that's great. So starting in the hallway, you know, this is the first thing that guests see. This is the first area that welcomes you home when you come home after a long day. And it needs to be organized. I hate clutter. So the first thing that I drew up on my plans was where can I fit in storage? Storage for shoes and bags and coats and scarves and all of those things that you just have loads of. In my uh, hallway, I have some bespoke storage some lovely joinery, which was then sprayed in Farrow and Ball's Hague Blue. So it's a really lovely pop of color when you come into the hallway as well. All the walls are white in here, so it's like really light and airy and fresh, um, and a lovely big piece of artwork just to add some color. So I wanted the whole house to have a contemporary modern feel. So what we've done is we've put in the glass balustrade onto the staircase just to flood this space with light as well. We've got a huge window sort of halfway up the stairs so we wanted to make the most of that. And I also wanted a feature carpet runner. So this is a crucial trading carpet which I then had bound with like a berry kind of edging just to give it another little punch of colour. At the top of the stairs we have a feature pendant, oversized pendant light and a lovely painting that Gareth got commissioned for me about gosh 15 years ago now and it's come to every single house and it hangs pride of place in the stairwell. So as you can see we have a great view from the front of the house right through to the back in into the garden through the expanse of glass. But in order to get there, we needed to navigate through this relatively tight corridor. And this used to be the entrance into the dining room. There was a door. But I wanted to open this up, but I didn't want the whole of the house to be open from front to back. I still wanted there to be some separation. So I thought, do you know what? I'm going to punch in a three and a half meter wide glass window so an internal window as you will so that we have a feeling of space even though the corridor isn't actually any wider than on the original plan now an internal window is a great way to add a visual add more light create a feeling of space and it's actually something that i did again in my project in Queenstown Road in Battersea. So we now have a visual from the kitchen out into the hallway because again, that hallway was super tight and we couldn't really do anything. We had to keep that wall there, but we added in the window. And I've also in this uh, corridor been able to squeeze in a very little bijou shower room, uh, which is essential when you have a teenage girl in the house. You will thank me for it if you add in another shower room. Trust me on this. 